in this video we are going to do some problem on differentiation of roots of expression by using chain rule let us look at the first problem y is equal to square root of 4x plus x square in the solution we will write down dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to ddx of y which is equal to ddx of square root of 4x plus x square now if y is equal to root x then we do have a formula where the derivative with respect to x of root x is equal to 1 by 2 root x however in this case we need to find the derivative with respect to x of the square root of 4x plus x square since there is no formula to find the derivative of the square root of an expression we are going to use the chain rule let us assume that x is equal to the expression 4x plus x square by assuming that x is equal to the expression for x plus x square we can now use the formula of finding the derivative with respect to x of root x now the derivative with respect to x of root x is equal to 1 by 2 root x or 1 by 2 root of 4x plus x square now since we have assumed that x is equal to the expression for x plus x square we need to again differentiate the expression for x plus x square with respect to x using the sum and difference rule the derivative of the sum of two functions is equal to derivative of the first function plus derivative of the second function using the constant times a function rule the derivative of a constant times a function is equal to constant times the derivative of the function using the power function rule the derivative with respect to x of x square is equal to 2 x to the power 2 minus 1 the derivative with respect to x of x is equal to 1 x to the power 2 minus 1 is equal to x to the power 1 or we can simply write x 4 times 1 equals 4 plus 2x 1 times 4 plus 2x is equal to 4 plus 2x by taking 2 as a common factor we are left with 2 plus x by cancelling the numerator and denominator we are left with 2 plus x by square root of 4x plus x square or x plus 2 by root of 4x plus x square therefore the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to x plus 2 by root of 4x plus x square let us now look at the second problem y is equal to square root of 5 minus x by 5 plus x using the quotient property of square roots y is equal to square root of 5 minus x by 5 plus x can also be written as y is equal to square root of 5 minus x by square root of 5 plus x so the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to d dx of y which is equal to d dx of square root of 5 minus x by square root of 5 plus x using the quotient rule the derivative of the quotient of two functions is equal to the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator divided by the denominator raised to the power 2 so the derivative with respect to x of the quotient of two functions square root of 5 minus x by square root of 5 plus x is equal to square root of 5 plus x times the derivative with respect to x of square root of 5 minus x minus square root of 5 minus x times the derivative with respect to x of square root of 5 plus x divided by square root of 5 plus x raised to the power 2 by cancelling the square root in the denominator we are left with 5 plus x now since we do not have a formula to find the derivative of the root of an expression 5 minus x we shall assume x is equal to 5 minus x by assuming x is equal to the expression 5 minus x we can now use the formula where the derivative with respect to x of root x is equal to 1 by 2 root x the derivative with respect to x of root x is equal to 1 by 2 root x or 1 by 2 root of 5 minus x now since we have assumed that x is equal to the expression 5 minus x we need to again differentiate the expression 5 minus x with respect to x again since we cannot find the derivative of the root of an expression 5 plus x 
we shall assume that x is equal to the expression 5 plus x. By doing so, we can now find the derivative with respect to x of root x. So the derivative with respect to x of root x is equal to 1 by 2 root x or 1 by 2 root of 5 plus x. Now since we have assumed that x is equal to the expression 5 plus x, we need to again differentiate the expression 5 plus x with respect to x. Root of 5 plus x times 1 equals root of 5 plus x. Using the sum and difference rule, the derivative with respect to x of 5 minus x is equal to derivative with respect to x of 5 minus derivative with respect to x of x. Root of 5 minus x times 1 equals root 5 minus x. Using the sum and difference rule, the derivative with respect to x of 5 plus x is equal to derivative with respect to x of 5 plus derivative with respect to x of x. The derivative with respect to x of a constant function is equal to 0 minus the derivative with respect to x of x is equal to 1. The derivative of a constant function is equal to 0 plus the derivative with respect to x of x is equal to 1 plus times minus equals minus 1 times root of 5 plus x by 2 root of 5 minus x is equal to root of 5 plus x by 2 root of 5 minus x minus root of 5 minus x by 2 root of 5 plus x times 1 equals root of 5 minus x by 2 root of 5 plus x. So the answer is dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to minus root of 5 plus x by 2 root of 5 minus x minus root of 5 minus x by 2 root of 5 plus x divided by 5 plus x. Let us now look at the third problem. y is equal to x square by root of 1 plus x square. In the solution we will write down dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to ddx of y which is equal to ddx of x square by root of 1 plus x square. Using the quotient rule, the derivative of the quotient of two functions is equal to the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator divided by the denominator raised to the power 2. So the derivative of the quotient of two functions x square and root of 1 plus x square is equal to root of 1 plus x square times the derivative of x square minus x square times the derivative of root of 1 plus x square divided by root of 1 plus x square whole thing square. Using the power function rule, the derivative with respect to x of x square is equal to 2 x to the power 2 minus 1. Now since we cannot find the derivative of the root of expression 1 plus x square, we shall assume x is equal to the expression 1 plus x square. By doing so, we can now find the derivative with respect to x of root x. So the derivative with respect to x of root x is equal to 1 by 2 root x or 1 by 2 root of 1 plus x square. Now since we have assumed that x is equal to the expression 1 plus x square, we need to again differentiate the expression 1 plus x square with respect to x to x to the power 2 minus 1 is equal to x to the power 1 or we can simply write x using the sum and difference rule the derivative with respect to x of 1 plus x square is equal to derivative with respect to x of 1 plus derivative with respect to x of x square x square times 1 by 2 root of 1 plus x square is equal to x square by 2 root of 1 plus x square. The derivative of a constant function is equal to 0 plus using the power function rule the derivative with respect to x of x square is equal to 2 x to the power 2 minus 1. 2 x to the power 2 minus 1 is equal to x to the power 1 or we can simply write x. x square times 2 x equals 2 x to the power 3. By cancelling 2 in the numerator and denominator we have dy by dx is equal to 2x root of 1 plus x square minus x cube 
by root of 1 plus x square divided by root of 1 plus x square whole thing square. Again, cancelling the square root in the denominator. So the final answer is dy by dx or derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 2x root of 1 plus x square minus x cubed by root of 1 plus x square divided by 1 plus x square. Let us now look at the fourth problem y is equal to square root of x cubed minus 5x plus 3. In the solution we will write down dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to ddx of y which is equal to ddx of square root of x cubed minus 5x plus 3. Now if y is equal to square root of x we do have a formula where the derivative with respect to x of root x is equal to 1 by 2 root x. However, in this case, we need to find the derivative of the root of expression x cubed minus 5x plus 3. Since we cannot find the derivative of the root of an expression, we shall apply the chain rule. Let us assume that x is equal to the expression x cubed minus 5x plus 3. By doing so, we can now find its derivative. The derivative with respect to x of root x is equal to 1 by 2 root x or 1 by 2 root of x cubed minus 5x plus 3. Since we have assumed that x is equal to the expression x cubed minus 5x plus 3, we need to again differentiate the expression x cubed minus 5x plus 3 with respect to x. Using the sum and difference rule, the derivative of the sum or difference of two or more functions is equal to the sum or difference of the derivative of the individual functions. So the derivative with respect to x of x cubed minus 5x plus 3 is equal to derivative with respect to x of x cubed minus derivative with respect to x of 5x plus derivative with respect to x of 3. Using the power function rule, the derivative with respect to x of x to the power 3 is equal to 3 x to the power 3 minus 1. Using the constant times a function rule, the derivative with respect to x of 5x is equal to 5 times the derivative with respect to x of x. The derivative of a constant function is equal to 0. 3 x to the power 3 minus 1 is equal to x to the power 2 or x square. The derivative with respect to x of x is equal to 1. 5 times 1 is equal to 5. 1 times 3x square minus 5 is equal to 3x square minus 5. So the final answer is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 3x square minus 5 divided by 2 root of x cubed minus 5x plus 3.